Hi everyone, my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am hopefully doing a compilation of my Project Emma revisions. So oh, I haven't touched these things till like February or March of this year and I think that's when I last gave y'all an update. Since then I've kind of just been saying like can't wait to go back, can't wait to start on that again. So I'm starting again and the reason I had left off initially, um, I'd done all my revision brainstorming thankfully and wrote like some scenes that I was going to put in for backstory like flashbacks and I got into like chapter three I think but that's when I got my hashtag goals revision letter and I was like I should probably go focus on that so I put project Emma aside I was like I know what my revision is it'll be easy peasy to come back to so <laughs> I got started on it yesterday which means nothing in the more realm of this video right now but um I combed through what I already had just to like see the vision and like I was already like way to go past Katie on that first sentence like got him so um I initiated more of a like director brain in my main character versus her like leading lady role wishes um which is what she had in Romancing Fate and um, the catalyst is what I'm now stuck on. So I went through all yesterday and went through like four chapters maybe because I spread out. Two of them were very like together and like it was too much in a chapter so I just separated it. And like ugh, I've talked about this before like it's like 15 pages, 5 pages, 15 pages, 5 pages and I'm like I hope that's okay because um, it's kind of like the two separate subplots almost even. So um, I'm hoping that's okay and it's like a fast pace for that second subplot to kick you back to the first one but we'll see maybe I'll merge it again later but I went through all that I even added some stuff um, some even more like descriptive or um, just extraness and so I was really glad I did read back over it and now I'm at the chapter I'm at a chapter where I was just staring at it and because I'd like expanded my other chapters my goal is to do six chapters each part of an act so like act one act two act two and a half act three so I was getting down to like chapter five and I still had like two or three chapters to go and I was like I just need to go ahead and merge these plus the thing that was like triggering the catalyst and all that like I admit it was drawn out it was a lot of like extra I'm not gonna go into the <laughs> but whatever so I'm like okay I'll just merge these chapters super easy and it's taken me hours and I'm just like gosh dang revisions so I'm about done with the catalyst finally and um I'm gonna go into her I guess debate though she doesn't really get to debate like it's either you do it or you don't and you're off uh, the play as director so <laughs> there's no really debating like she can wallow a bit in like the thing she has to do now which I think I'm gonna have her do that night and then just get started on stuff the next day but um I like the pacing of this it I didn't realize how much was gonna have to change and so it's taking me like I'm having I was trying to work within the document but now I'm just copying or cutting and pasting into a separate doc and then kind of pulling over or adding to the original doc from that but it's just like it's a lot it's a lot more than I anticipated but I basically just did a huge overhaul with hashtag goals where I merged a bunch of chapters granted I had stared at that for like a month so I knew like what needed to go where but um yeah I'm not as familiar with what I did with uh, Project Emma and when I was working on it before I didn't update it in my like story map my book map and then like my chapter outlines like stuff just needs to change and I didn't even update it so I'm like not positive what's happening <laughs> in all the chapters <laughs> about to be done with act one so that's exciting and um, I kept the tension longer which is what I wanted to do I loved their tension in the beginning and then even my CP Bridie was like I wanted that longer and I was like girl you got it so <laughs> um, I'm gonna play it a little more and hope that like the feel and the story I'm trying to tell gets told the right way I definitely know after I go through this revision I will be going back and like go going through it again basically to make sure it's where it needs to be before I get like another set of eyes on it um, thankfully my mentor is like I can read that for you after but I want to make sure it's like tip top before I send it to her so she doesn't have like a ton of work on her hands alright so moving into act two um, 
my fun and games is usually my longest section and by like longest I mean like a chapter or two long like it's my favorite to write and this one ended up being really short when I rewrote it because um they're like what I had a fake relationship of before um was now that forced thing and so she only had like three scenes she needed to direct with Landon and so that ended pretty quickly <laughs> and I was like I wonder if I should put like five scenes or something but um I think it's good enough and I when I kept writing because I was trying to think of my page count and percentage the whole way through and um I like that section was just off but I ended up in act three cutting um quite a bit um uh, maybe like like I was off by 10 pages almost and so it kind of adjusted those percentages anyways and it ended up working out so hopefully it's not too short before the midpoint and then um I think I roped in better Landon stuff and Riley stuff and all of their shards of glass and I just I really liked what I came up with on Riley's side I freaking loved it and I loved playing into um tropes and how she and her like friends and sister are like kind of meta about um, act one they're always like oh this breakup means that you're in your act three and you just have to get over your darkest night and Riley's like okay like I'll okay uh, yeah we'll go for that and then like the di darkest night happens and then like Landon still doesn't like do some declaration and she was like this is BS I'm not in my act three <laughs> like and so it's just fun to like play with that like within the story because she is a director like she thinks with that script brain so that was fun and then um like I said my act three ended up being kind of short but a mine are mostly short um I never can drag it out I do know that for my whip right now um for Nano I have a really great act three I finally have the beats for like the high tower surprise like I have someone coming in and um just kind of rocking Harper's world so I'm really excited about that one and I will do a Nano recap after this so be sure to check that out as well but um for Project Emma I got it to let's see I was really trying to get it to at least 70,000 words hashtag goals ended up being over 80,000 so that was like crazy for me especially because it's a contemporary um so I ended up taking project Emma I think it was right under 70k I think it was like 69 I cut maybe 20 to 25,000 words <laughs> and then added a bunch of stuff and some of that I did copy and paste over, but a lot of it had to be tweaked based on the situations and people's thoughts like changing. And um, so when I went through the first time and did all my revisions, it was at 66,000. And then I usually do a read through right after and go in and beef up anything and do any of my notes. because. When I first did this, I was like, okay, it's going to be six weeks long. But what I'm learning is every time I do six weeks, that it's entirely too long for me to try to structure weeks in. And so it ended up being five weeks. So I had to go back in and change that timeline and just different things like that. And I got it up to almost 69,000. So um, I know that whenever I finish my revisions, when I go back into edits, I usually add two to 5K, which is like nice to know that I can do. <laughs> um, there are things that I'm curious for what my CP Bridie is going to think about some scenes or um, she's really good at letting me know what to flesh out. If things are hopefully believable that I put in, um, I'm still, when I first did my revisions for Act 3, I was like, this like wrapped up really fast. Their like makeup scene, um, the grand gestures, all of that like, it felt really rushed in that they still needed to talk about why they broke up um like their fears and how they got over them and they needed to have like all this closure but like it was literally one day <laughs> like they needed to have that and their grand gesture but have that and then it was like the end it was like the it was just like a lot crunched and um I felt really bad about it after I did my first go through and I was like this is awful this is gonna sound rushed this is gonna sound like they didn't work anything out and um when I went through the second time I was like okay this isn't like actually that bad and I managed to add just a few sentences here or there to kind of help evolve <laughs> their words and I hope 
that it works. I guess we'll find out from Bridie, but um, I also keep getting feedback that I have too many characters in my first chapter. That happened for goals and it happened for um, Project Emma and I just, I don't know what to do about it because I don't really want to cut it. <laughs> I know the whole kill your darlings thing, but it's kind of my whole setup in this one and that she is a matchmaker. So I wanted to get that aspect of her before she like it, it just travels into like her stuff and why she's a matchmaker and her heartbreak and I just think it flows really well and I don't care if you don't remember the people in the beginning because I'll bring them up again and again until you remember them like they're not super important that first read through except for knowing what Riley is doing so I hope that that works out I guess Bridie will let me know <laughs> and whoever reads it next but um, I got to send that off to her I worked on it the first five days of NaNo um, I was really hoping to finish it before then but it just didn't happen so um, I got through it did my minor edits I needed to um, after and then sent it off to her <sighs> so and then my mentor for hashtag goal said she's gonna take another two weeks and I was like girl like just take November it's fine <laughs> like I've got stuff to work on and that'll give Bridie time to read Project Emma and just really like get those ready to have like a package deal if my agent would like that <laughs> and then my third YA contemporary is what I'm writing for Nano so I really hope like it feels stronger to me already but I will talk that about that in my nano video but um having these three together i'm super excited uh that third one i'll talk about later too but it is a great segue into adult and so i think like if i get an agent that packages like that and then we can segue up that would just be like my goal right now so okay i will talk more about nano stuff in nano but thank y'all for watching and um cheering me on for project emma i'm super stoked about it i'm really excited about all the changes that I made to it and hopefully it's good to go soon. Happy writing and I will see y'all next time. Bye!